Hi, welcome to this page of the notes. And what we're going to do here now is we're going to apply this idea of solving absolute value equations to a word problem. What I've done is I've given you the equation that you will need to use in order to solve these problems. You're going to set up an absolute value. X is going to be your variable. And then um, as you read the word problem, you're going to be looking for a central value. It's going to be your target value, right? It's going to be that whatever that value is that you're looking for, right? That's going to be your central value. And then what's going to happen is somewhere in the problem, they're going to tell you that, you know, you're going to be somewhere around your central value. You could be this much more, this much less, plus or minus something. That's going to be your range. By how much around that central value could you be above or below. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And what we see here is the US Mint produces quarters that weigh about 5.67 grams. That sounds like a central value to me. Let me highlight it. Let's mark it as a C. We want our quarters, not with a highlighter, not, not like that. We want our quarters to weigh, oh my gosh, this is not working. Central value. We want our quarters to weigh 5.67 grams each. But what actually happens? Well, after the quarters are produced, a machine weighs them. If the quarter weighs 0.02 grams more or less, found it. So what we've got here is my range. The quarters could weigh 0.02 grams more or less than that central value. Let's go ahead and mark that guy with an R, my range, than the desired weight which is that the quarter is rejected. Write and solve an absolute value problem for this scenario. Let's slide this guy up, and here we go using the equation I've given you. We're going to take the absolute value. It's going to be x minus my central value, which is 5.67 grams. Don't forget your units. That is going to be equal to your range value, which in this case is plus or minus 0.02 grams. Again, when we solve absolute value equations, absolute value needs to be by itself, needs to be equal to a positive number, and um, uh, we need to make sure uh, that uh, we do both a positive and a negative option for solving this absolute value equation. So let's do that. x minus 5.67 grams is equal to 0 0.02 grams and x minus 5.67 grams is equal to negative 0 0.02 grams. Sorry, get close over there to the side of the page. Now, what we're going to do is a little bit of simple math. I will add 5.67 grams and add 5.67 grams. Don't fat finger something on your calculator. You should come up with 5.69 grams and x equals 5.65. Here's what this tells you. They're going to make quarters. Each of those quarters they make is going to be weighed by a machine. If the quarter falls anywhere in this range, 5.65 uh, or 5.69 grams, it passes the test, makes it through, and gets into circulation. If the quarter weighs less than 5.65 or weighs more, then 5.69, the machine will discard the quarter, it'll be destroyed, and doesn't make it into circulation. We've taken the problem, written it as an absolute value equation based on the formula that you were given. You'll use this formula every time, and then we solve our absolute value problem like we have been doing. That concludes uh, the notes here for this section four. At this point, you should be comfortable with our two objectives, um, solving expressions with absolute values, and now, of course, solving equations that involve absolute values. Thanks for joining me for this set of videos. I'll see you the next time.